Hello children, welcome to 7th Science Online Classes. Chapter 13, Motion and Time. The last class we learned measurement of time and the oscillatory motion of a simple pendulum. And today we are going to learn units of time and speed. Units of time and speed. First we will see units of time. The basic unit of time is a second. Okay, basic unit of time. And its symbol is small letter S. Larger units of time are minutes. And we can represent it by M-I-N. Not M-I-N-S, that is wrong. M-I-N, minutes, M-I-N. And hours, H. Not H-R-S, that is wrong. Hours represented as H. So I am repeating once again. The basic unit of time is a second. Its symbol is S. Larger units of time are minutes, min, M-I-N, and hours, H. Next you will see units of speed. We know the formula of speed. How we can calculate speed? Distance upon time or distance by time. And we will see the basic unit of speed. So speed formula distance by time. So how we will find the basic unit of speed? Distance unit is meter. That you know when we are calculating a distance from one place to another place. The smallest unit is uh, millimeter, centimeter like that. And it is more we are using meter or kilometer like that. And the basic unit of uh, distance that is meter. So we can uh, write that speed equals distance by time. So distance unit is meter and time unit is second. So what is the basic unit of speed? meter per second meter by second or we can read it as meter per second meter m bar s or meter per second other units of speed are meter per minute or kilometer per hour see when you are calculating the speed of uh, the bowling speed of when you are uh, playing the cricket bowling speed so the or the vehicle speed so that time we cannot use meter per second okay because that is larger unit a vehicle speed or uh, that uh, bowling uh, speed that is larger so in that time we are using kilometer per hour okay and uh, in some other uh, time we are using meter per minute that is uh, when you are walking from uh, a shorter distance that time you can use meter per minute so according to our convenience we are using different kinds of units but the basic unit of speed is meter per second got it children this is very very important thing and uh, this uh, and uh, when you are doing the calculations you have to uh, convert this meter per second to kilometer per hour uh, that we will discuss uh, in the next class so now you understand first uh, unit of time unit of time is second it is represented by the symbol small letter s and uh, when we are considering the larger units that time we are um, using minutes or hours and the unit of speed speed we know what is speed distance by time and this uh, unit of speed first you find this uh, unit of distance that is meter and uh, unit of time is second so basic unit of speed is meter per second meter per p e r meter per second we read like that meter per second and children uh, uh, i'll give one fact also do you know how many seconds are in a day in a day 86,400 seconds are there in a day in one day 86,400 seconds 
and uh, do you know how many hours in a year eight eight thousand seven hundred sixty hours are there eight thousand seven hundred sixty hours yes children we studied how to calculate speed using that formula speed equals distance upon time do you remember this uh, triangle so here's s uh, is speed d is distance and t is time so when you uh, keep this triangle in your mind it is very easy to calculate speed so how we can calculate speed distance by time see d is up and t is down so distance by time and when you want to find this distance so how we can uh, calculate distance see speed into time s and t speed into time and when you want to calculate time so that time distance upon s or uh, speed or distance by speed okay so all of you keep this triangle in your mind so d is up and s and t down so using this uh, formula or using this triangle we will find uh, we will see some calculations okay so first uh, one distance moved by the object in meter so distance you know that the unit of distance is meter so uh, first one 20 meter distance is 20 meter and time taken that is in uh, seconds okay that is uh, the unit of time is second that we studied so that is 5 second so how we can calculate speed so you know what is the formula of speed distance upon time so here distance is 20 meter and uh, time is 5 second so the answer is 20 by 5 is 4 so the unit is meter per second 4 meter per second got it children so when distance and time that is given values a distance also given time also given so you want to find speed so that time first you have to write the uh, formula distance <coughs> upon time then substitute that values uh, distance is 20 time is 5 and uh, you got the answer 4 but the unit that is necessary to write 4 meter per second is uh, unit of speed is meter per second the same way you have to do these two also first uh, second one is distance moved by the object in meter 66 the time taken in second 12 so you have to find speed the using the same formula distance upon time that is 66 divided by 12 you got the an answer in meter per second so uh, this uh, thing you have to write in your notebook this all this all this all you have to write in your notebook and find that answer okay children and uh, the third one also distance moved by the object in meter 100 time taken in seconds 30 so you have to find speed using distance upon time so you will get the answer in meter per second next is here speed is given time also given so we want to find distance see this is distance so how we will find distance the speed into time so first one speed uh, 10 meter per second speed uh, unit is meter per second so speed 10 meter per second time 10 seconds so how we will find distance speed into time so 10 into 10 equals 100 meter so the units are very very important so don't forget to write here in in this case speed meter per second and in the distance meter if you are not writing the unit uh, you will lose the mark okay so that unit is very very important so 10 into 10 100 meter the same way you have to do this two also here speed is uh, 80 meter and time is 25 seconds so distance speed into time 80 into 25 and uh, write the answer uh, third one also 43 meter per second that is the speed and time is 16 second so find the distance next one 
distance moved by the object in meter that is distance given speed also given so we want to find time see here is the time so how we will find uh, this uh, time distance by speed so here distance given in meter that is 100 and speed in meter per second that is 50 so time distance by speed distance is 100 and uh, speed is 50 so you will get 2 second because the unit of time is second so 2 second the same way you have to do this two also okay children you might have seen a meter fitted on top of a scooter or a, a motorcycle similarly meters can be seen on the dashboards of cars buses and other vehicles so here you can see a meter see note that one of the meters has kilometer per hour written at one corner so here you can see kilometer per hour this is called a speedometer so this is called speedometer it records the speed directly in kilometer per hour so you can see here 0 20 40 so when the uh, vehicle moves it shows the speed okay it is a device which which is used in vehicles such as cars and trucks which measures the speed in kilometer per hour so that is important so that speedometer measures the speed in kilometer per hour there is also another meter that measures the distance uh, moved by the vehicle distance moved by the vehicle and that device is called odometer it is a device which measures the distance traveled by a vehicle in meters or kilometers okay some in uh, some vehicles that is in meter and some uh, vehicles that are in kilometer odometer then odometer distance and speedometer speed okay children so uh, up to this uh, okay you can uh, read your textbook also and the next class we want to do some problems uh, that you can see in that table 13 for page number 150 that everything that uh, that is a, a problem and uh, uh, that is speed given kilometer per hour so we want to convert that kilometer per hour into meter per second that we will do in the next class okay children so up to this understand the concept and uh, uh, if you have any doubt you can ask okay children so thank you all the best